y'all. Look at this right cool bell buckle I got. I made it. I had a drive to make a nice yuck bootmo. I had a nice drive to make a nice pretty one, so I did it. It's made out of spots and maple. Beautiful wood found in the front yard and tree cut down. Got some good firewood out of it too. But let's make a video. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's pretty stinking easy, so let's get her done, y'all. What y'all into, cowboys? Today we're going to make a bell buckle. Something that all men need to kind of have their super cool image in the world. It's, this one's going to be made out of spalted maple. I found it in my front yard up yonder, and boy, is it pretty. Look at that spalted maple. Anyway, you just got to get a piece of wood. This one's about 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths thick. You got to start out with that. And uh, got to get your shape on there. Once you got your shape on there, dude, it's right pretty simple. You just got to go to the bandsaw, coping saw, whatever saw y'all got. And you got to cut it out. So let's head over to the bandsaw. Cut them out. Okay, and basically, you know, we got to sand, sand, sand. From here on out, you just got to get it to the shape you want to. If you can see that right there, I got a line on there on the edge, and that's where you can make your bevel or chamfer, whatever you want to. You just got to follow that and be able to get it done. All right, let's do it. Lots of sanding, shaping. You just got to get it to that shape that you want to, and then you're good to go. Good to go. I mean it. Okay. Got it all sanded down. You might have to do some hand sanding on the edges here. It's just a little bit to ease that edge. But I did it with about one, about 80 grit, 180, and then I actually finalized it with something quite fine. So, But you can do whatever you need to. Just uh, get it to how you want to feel. So we got it all sanded down and we are ready to attach the actual buckle mechanism itself. And this part's pretty straightforward. I'll put the link below to these uh, buckles that I found online. They work pretty good. Um, and basically just draw your line, find your center line on your buckle. And I'll try to include maybe some templates of this like a PDF or something to a link to it. So they're pretty straightforward. And I'm just going to use a drill bit. And again, you have to figure out what size screws that you are getting and do it from there. So I'm going to drill these holes and we'll attach this bump buckle. And this is where all the beauty happens. Danish oil works awesome. You can use whatever finish that you to have to your liking. I hope you're all sitting down because this is where it all is. Absolutely a beautiful, amazing. Don't Jonathan and then uh, yeah, so coat it on there good. This sits on there for 30 minutes when you're using Danish oil. After that you wipe off the excess and add another coat if you want. Um I'm gonna put it a little heavy and thick on there. Alright boys, that about wraps that up. Hope you got some good information off that. Let's go round up them cattle and shoot them stinking rattlesnakes and enjoy your new belt buckle. That's right, awesome. Howdy, enjoy it. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below and you all have a blessed day.